Okay. The Kutumaran, Torid Gimel, we hold him as Eve Hay. So after we explain the Fulat Tzloka, which is a spirit of charity, a spirit of generosity, you cool off the heat of Taivas moment, of the vice of greed. And we also explain that the Chacham that obliterates the greed perfectly, completely, he merits Chesed. That chesed, charity, favor, compassion, that brings about das, that brings about wisdom. With this, with this wisdom, the chacham elevates the wills, the retainers, the wants of the people that come to him. And he brings about a unification of the Kodesh Baruch with the Shekhin. The result of which is a revelation of Torah in the world. The minute Torah is revealed in the world, we explain how the Torah is actually an organ of sight. It brings sight into the world. It brings the heavenly sight into the world. It brings Hashgacha, providential conduct into the world. Now, I was going to explain how all this union that the Chacham takes the souls of the people, the spirit of the people, the, the wants, the returns of the people, elevates them and brings Torah into the world is the rectification of the Merkava, the chariot. And it says, Siman He, Beze Bechinas Tikuna de Merkavto Ilo O Merkata Tatar. All this constitutes the rectification of the upper chariot and the lower chariot. Meaning, through the fact that the Chokham takes the Nefashos, takes the souls, and goes up with them, we are those Miftocho, and brings down, brings down a surety of might, which is the Torah. The two chariots are rectified. Now, because you have to understand that in the, in the upper worlds, in the supernal worlds, <coughs> there is something which is called a chariot. It has uh, a representation of four animals, meaning the, 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 the essence, the spiritual essence, that when it comes down to the world, it is typified in these four animals. But we're talking about spiritual inyon, that the animals are only a muscle for them. We're talking about Arye, we're talking about a lion, we're talking about shore, talking about an ox, a bull. Talk about Nesher, talking about an eagle, an Adam, talking about man. These are the four animals which appear to be on the four sides of the chariot. Now above the heads of the animals. There is what you call Kisa Kovat, the throne of honor, upon which the Kodesh Baruch is sitting. This entire vision is brought down by Yecheskel, the famous vision of the chariot. Now, 
these Bechinas that there are in the chariot, you know, the lion, and the ox, and the bull, and the, and the, 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 the eagle, and the men, they're all being rectified by the fact that the Chacham elevates the Nefashos and brings down to it. Because the elevation of the Nefashos is, is also, is also, also corresponds to those aspects of the Merkava. The why, the this, that. This, this upper chariot is called Merkava Aliyayna. The upper chariot, supernal chariot, also bring down the Torah. Is also corresponds to each mechina that exists in the chariot. In other words, this elevation of the nefesh of the Rosh which is in an aspect of a lion, there is elevation of nefesh, which is the aspect of the shore. There is an elevation of the Nefoshes of the aspect of, of the evil. And there is elevation of Chinas Odom. Now, bringing down the Torah is also, it's bringing down the Torah in the aspect of a line. Bringing down the Torah in the aspect of a short. Bringing down the Torah aspect of an eagle. Bringing down the Torah aspect of men. Bring down, elevating the Nefoshes the soul is called the upper Merkava. Being down the Torah is called the lower Merkava. Look at the lower chariot. So, it is therefore self-evident that by the fact that the Chacham elevates the Nefoshes and brings down the Torah, all that he couldn't have to do with the Merkava, the upper one and the lower one, are being Accomplished. Okay, now the Rebbe is going to go into specifics. First of all, how, you know, the, the, the four aspects of elevating the Nefoshites the lion, the shore, the nation, and the other. Then the Rebbe will enumerate those four aspects in bringing down the tail. Okay? Kiesh, in the Lord chariot, Abachayis, there are four animals, Bifkinas Nefesh. In other words, there are four Bechinas, the four aspects in the inn of the Nefoshas that the Chacham elevates, which are Lion and Shor and Nesha and Adam. Vechise, and there is the throne, and there is Yosheh Valakis, the one who sits on the throne. So here the Rebbe says we're talking about a system that includes four animals, yeah. a chariot, I mean, uh, I'm sorry, a throne, and the one who sits on the throne. The, the throne, the one who sits on the throne, is the Chocham that elevates the Nefoshes, as we're going to explain now. The lion, the aspect of lion in the soul. It's the first act of, of the chariot. Zebekinas, and it is said, Ariti Moiri in Besami. Ariti over here, Beder Chremes alludes to, 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 Ariti usually means, uh, I have picked. I have picked my my mire with my perfume. This is from Shira Shira, the Song of Songs. It's a pasuk there. So the pasuk says, "Arisi Moiri im besami." I've picked out, like picking flowers. I picked out my mire, you know, the the, the perfume, the thing mire, and my perfume. Okay. 
מוירי, ומנמר, מזה בחינס מורס נפש. בלסון, מר משל מר, בירן. בחינס ונפשה מורה, when her soul is bitter, when a person is suffering, his soul tastes bitter to him. It's like, you don't taste it to yourself, like you're bitter to yourself. Nafshi mora, so mor, mor is enough nafshi mora. Ze p'chines gama nefesh, gama rotsam, that's the, the damage, damaged soul, the damaged well. Kshiro it's a dvar taiva, when a person wants a taiva, ze a rotsam of gam u mor. Wanting a taiva, wanting advice, you know, going after that is a, a blemish and a damage, a bitter thing for the nefesh. One of the things that people don't understand, the, why does a person do theirs? Why does a person smoke cigarettes or uses drugs? drinks alcohol or whatever is because he or she is depressed so he wants to you know to to show the pain squash the pain he wants to uh, but the point is that 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 this this kind of pain killing is toxic. So, and I can have right then and there it works. The person gets drunk, he forget, forgets about his problems. But all in all, it brings about bitterness to the nefesh. You know, it, it, it prevents dealing with things. It, it, it breaks a person down. Same thing with every time. Same thing with every single time. A person reaches out for the easy out, so to speak. I'll put it in again. Reaches for the easy out. The easy out is the nefesh, the bitterness of the nefesh. When that person comes, comes after the easy part. Or the bitterness comes before the easy part, and then the easy part comes. Okay, that's 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 basically the process. If you go the the regular way, the process is that the, the life is challenging. Is challenging. No, that's the truth. A person but can then either then reap the rewards. Okay. And uh, with vices, it's a fool. Where you want the rewards first, and then, of course, all your troubles come back tenfold because you would right. Exactly. That's what I'm talking about. That's exactly right. Now when a person comes in the Chochamador, <laughs> when a person comes to the Tzadik, yeah. together with his nefesh, together with all his wants, all his wills, all his wishes, all his confusion. He takes all the wants, all the wills, he takes everything. And he picks them out one by one. You know, to elevate them. He also picks out all the wants and all the wills and all the wishes and all the urges and all the longings of the nefeshes that fell down. This is the line called Arye. Arye is a mission leket. Arise. Arye. He is is Arisi, he is, he is picking out the ritzoyness of all the bitter people, all the ritzoyness, all the bitterness, all the, all the, you're coming to the tzaddik with your confusions, with your tyrants, with your, and he picks out the ritzoyness and he elevates them. Shemalaket moros nefesh that he picks out the, the bitterness of the nefesh, I know gama nefesh, the bad ritzoyness, the bad ones, the bad wishes, in Besami, together with my perfume, in other words, with the Rotsanatayv, 
שמעלה ריח טוב, with the good wishes, with the good wills, with the noble wishes, with the noble longings. Because when a person comes to the tzaddik, he has good, he has good wishes, good wills, good urges and longings to come to Hashem. He also has, you know, bad things, bad wishes, bad longings for, 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 for Taiba. Now, when the tzaddik wants to elevate his nefesh, in other words, his good retainers, he also has to take with them the bad ones and rectify them. Now, through the very fact that the Chacham is oisik with you, he's working with you to elevate you to a very high beginning called Ibor. It's pregnancy. With this, he brings into you your Chula to have remorse on the damage on the faults, on the defects, all the ones that are not good. The result is that a person feels the bitterness of, of, of his nefesh for, for the bad ones. <coughs> he realizes that he stopped being in another. They say, you know, that, that the ones thing that stops addicts from getting clean or sober or whatever yeah. is denial. No, I don't have a problem. You know, I can stop smoking whenever I want. I can stop drinking whenever I want. I can stop gambling whenever I want. You know, it's, 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 it's just I don't want to. You can't. You come to the tzaddik and he elevates it takes all the returns, the good ones and the bad ones. And he brings he gives you here a chuva, and when he gives you a chuva, suddenly you feel the bitterness of your vices. You meet them face to face. This is Maras Nefesh. And the Tzadik can elevate them together with the good retainers and rectify them. That's the elevations of the nefoshos with the aspect of arye. So you see that the principle of arye has nothing to do with what we would think, you know, kind of like that. Yeah. <laughs> right? we're, we're talking about we're talking about picking a risi. So it's. I'm not going to continue today because each one of them is. Encyclopedia for itself. Atkan, good tomorrow, please.